the snow cone today and it was awesome. I want you all to take a moment and think about what you're doing right now. Are you watching me on a phone, on your computer, on your television? Are you listening to me in the radio? How is it that we are connecting today? Is it because of some miracle or someone, someone who was the master mathematician, biologist, and the father of modern day computers? Think about this for a moment. Because of Alan Turing, we are all connected. Because of a man who was persecuted, sterilized, and jailed for being homosexual in the wrong time. Eventually, Alan Turing lost his life. And today, we are going to talk about his legacy and maybe see how he died. If this is your first time here, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and I upload on Wednesdays and Fridays. I appreciate every single one of you guys and thank you to all of my new subscribers. There's a lot of you out there who are not subscribed but you're watching. So if you could take a moment to just hit that subscribe button for me, that would be amazing. Do that not just for me, but do it for your other friends too, your favorite YouTubers, your small businesses, liking, comment, share, subscribe. That is worth its weight in gold and it is free. Remember, I do have a contest going on and there are 18 more prizes to go. So look at some of my old videos and I will describe to you how you can win one of my 18 prizes. So I know I started this video off a little bit different today, but I've been thinking about Alan Turing for days now and I'm getting a little emotional about it. There are plenty of stories historical records and movies out about Alan Turing and it's it's heartbreaking this man made a difference in our world today and God knows how many lives he saved in World War II because of the Turing machine which was one of the very, very earliest concepts of a computer. The war, World War II, was shortened by at least two years. And he is directly responsible for upwards of 21 million people. Million. Surviving. Think about these 21 million people who survived, who their story was not cut short. They went on to have their own children and generations and generations passed because of this man and his team. But because Alan Turing was gay. He lost his place in history. And instead of being regarded as a hero, history condemned him as a villain. And while Queen Elizabeth returned 
his convictions and his lewd acts. What help did that do to a man that was a genius who was stunted because of chemical castration that he voluntarily did in order to stay out of prison. This man who was about ready to marry a woman so he could pass as a straight man. And this woman, his friend Joan, didn't care that he was gay, but he loved her too much to have her not have the opportunity to be married to someone that she loved who would be the father of her children. He made an incredibly difficult decision because he was arrested for lewd acts. There were always rumors about him. And they were true. His crime was being attracted to men. Not young men, not children, consenting adults. But it didn't matter because that made him a villain. And Ellen did not want to go to jail. People around him, including his own mother, notice a grave personality difference in him once the chemical castrations had started. This included Ellen not being able to function quite right. His thinking, his spirit, his genius was stunted. And Lord knows what they did in the chemical castrations back then. The point of this was to kill his sex drive so he would no longer act in a lewd and gross way. I wonder what would happen if he never was castrated, never had the hardships of being a gay man in the wrong time period. You know, quite frankly, it may not even be a good time period now. But he wouldn't necessarily get castrated for it, depending on what part of the world he lives in. This is a very sobering and sombering thought. What did we miss out on? What did the world lose out on? because of these stupid, horrendous, astronomically over, just overdone punishment for being gay. Everyone said that Ellen Turing was an atheist, but he was actually a very spiritual person. He believed that matter, energy, when it died, it would move on to another form. He even said it could move on to another person. It would regenerate. It would reincarnate. So with a man as intelligent as he was, being forced to be chemically castrated, being forced to stay away from the man that he loved, lost the woman that he loved, and lost a lot of credibility and jobs because he was gay. Did he kill himself? Or was this a tragic accident? 
could somebody erase him? Alan Turing died by cyanide poisoning, apparently. They found a half-eaten apple, and he was dead. It was not unusual for Alan to have an apple before bedtime, and many times he would have a half-eaten apple. Ellen was also a huge fan of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and he absolutely loved the whole ideal of having the poison apple. So many of his colleagues believed that this is a dramatic way that Ellen killed himself. His mother believed that it was an accidental cross-contamination because Ellen had not been himself for a while. What she meant by that is she believed that his mind had been slipping and his intellect and things that he used to know about chemicals were slipping away and he made a grave accident while he was in his lab, killing himself by an accidental overdose of cyanide. There are other people who believe that he was just flat out murdered. He was a dangerous person because he was a smart gay man. And nobody wanted that to happen. My next video will be a lot about queer coding and erasal, erasing of gay history. I am flabbergasted at the things I have been learning and sickened by the story that happened to Alan and how he was almost completely erased from history. And a movie called The Imitation Game brought interest back in his life. That movie was a catalyst of Ellen Turing getting pardoned years later. If somebody hadn't made that movie, a lot of his creativity, a lot of his work, his actions, and the fact that he saved thousands, millions, millions of lives would have just been lost in time. Because he was gay. I feel that there was so much more to his story that could have been written. And because of ignorance and stupidity, it was cut short. So, question is, my question, did Alan Turing kill himself? This shows me that he had a lot of perception, a lot of wit. At one point in his life, he understood the world like a ticking clock. He could take things apart. He could put them back together. And he saw patterns that made sense when nobody else could see it. He was a very mature person. He was wise beyond his years, and one would say that he himself was a reincarnation of someone else. Someone else who had passed years before, who was also gay. I'll let you do your own thinking on who that might be. Although he was prosperous, he was in despair. I don't think he had very much money in his life. And I feel like at the end of his life, it looks like he was, everything in his life was falling apart. Everything. I, I feel like he really didn't believe that he had anybody left. 
he wanted justice. He wants justice now. I don't know what he would think about today. I don't. He's too humble. He never would have accepted the accolades. But he definitely would accept the justice. I think he would have been an activist if he was alive now. And really pushing for people to not be drowned. To not be hurt. To not be physically harmed or jailed because of their sexual orientation or their gender identity. He was in so much pain. He was in so much pain. And I'm telling you, this is physical pain. The mental pain was anguish. And I think if it were one or the other, he could have gotten through it. But I, uh, he was in a tremendous amount of pain. I mean, th this is every bit of pain that you can possibly get that was lighting up his body at all times. He made a plan. He arrived at this decision. Um, so, just a trigger warning, guys. We are going to be going into talking about his suicide. Because I, I do believe it was a suicide. So, if this is something you guys cannot handle, that's fine. Pop off here. I will leave the National Suicide um, Hotline here for you guys. Um, but I will see you later. He was fighting with his brain. Um, meaning that his... I, I see this in a completely different way than I've seen anything else. Like, I am seeing flashes of brain. Like, connecting and not connecting. And he was fighting. He was willing things to happen in his brain in his own mind, but he couldn't control it because things weren't the same anymore because the type of chemicals that were in his body due to being castrated were poisoning him. I think he would have died anyway, but he suffered a great deal. Although he did die by his own hand it wasn't completely his idea I believe that he had a very close friend or confidant or someone help him and there was somebody out there who knew the entire truth this somebody worked in the medical field um, now obviously back when Alan Turing was alive the medicine was completely different than it is now and I think what happened was originally these two tried to reverse the effects of what were what was happening to him however it didn't work and that was his last effort he was okay to try whatever this medical procedure or medicine or whatever it was. He was okay to try it because that was his last ditch effort. He felt like his hand was forced. Meaning, yes, he should have lived a very long time. He probably would have been a man in his 80s or 90s. And if he was left alone to live the way that he should have lived, um, part of this is a puzzle. Part of his death is a puzzle. That man is smarter than anybody else. And I don't mean that as a brag. He doesn't mean that as a brag. It's just a simple fact. He left everything out in the open every answer that you could want everything that you could have needed to know about how his life ended 
he made it available. Just people weren't smart enough to understand it. He understood how the world and the universe worked. And I'm telling you, he would not have taken his own life if he did not have some sort of understanding of the ticking of the world, the ticking of the universe. He could hear the universe. He could hear the cyclings. He could picture it. He was not meant for a world this cold and a world this stupid. He was meant for so much more. And while it's a shame that he did what he did, he was dying. I don't condone suicide at all. And I want you to know that he knew what he was getting into. The whole quote about spiritualism and reincarnation, he understood that that was what his destiny was. He would get no rest. He would be popped right back into another body and live out his life over and over and over until he learned his lesson. That's what he believed. If he were around modern day, he probably would, probably would have been known as a Buddhist. And I think with him, this was his only way out, not to end the mental anguish, but the sheer fact that he would die an agonizing death very soon. I'm talking vomiting blood, diarrhea of blood, insides coming out. It would have been horrific. And while his knowledge was slipping away from him, he was smart enough to understand what the chemicals were doing to his body. He was trying to save his mother from seeing those horrific things. I feel like he's in a place of blank right now. I would call this a void. He has a lot of healing to do. And his bouncing around from life to life really took a lot out of him. I don't think he's learned the lessons that he's needed to learn quite yet. But right now, he's in some sort of void, in a state of being, because he needs to be healed. Again, I, please, if you, no, 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 you're not, I, I don't want anybody to think of this as a suicide. This was what you would call self-euthanization, and I don't, you know, this is a very difficult thing to talk about, so... Um, I understand mixed feelings and I understand why this is uncomfortable, but this is what happened to him and, um, I don't, I, I can't say one way or another what I support or what I don't because it's not important. What is important is... He was almost lost in time. He saved millions of lives. There are actually generations of lives that he saved. They're watching this right now. You are part of his legacy. And because you're watching this on a phone or a tablet or a computer or even a television. You are familiar with his work. 
But many of you are alive today because Alan Turing lived. All right, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I know it was a difficult one. Everybody remember, every single day is a gift. Use your time wisely. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.